this this used to be this right here used to be my shit just like this i'm gonna fix my hair let me fix my hair because this is how my hair was that day i wanted to give y'all as much visual as i could okay so at least you got me right <laughs> fuck her <laughs> i'm petty all the time <laughs> so i was ready wait now i'm a tampon acting up wait, wait a minute y'all <laughs> What happened? Okay, so that day was a great day. You know what I'm saying? I got on my um, school shirt of Robert E. Lee. Yes, it was a whole bunch of black kids going to Robert E. Lee Middle School. If you don't know who Robert E. Lee is, you sleep. Um, um, so anyway, you can see my whole throat when I talk. Damn. <laughs> I hate recording videos, y'all. I can't never do this shit. I can't do this shit. Shit. Ugh. So it's a great day. Me and my mom were on good terms. And I was sitting in the back of the car. And I remember because I sat on the hump because I was feeling myself. So I sat, you know, in the middle, in the back seat so I could see myself in the rearview mirror because I was vain as fuck back then. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, this is so pretty. That my house is so nice. It's like, it is such a nice day today. And my mom looked in the rearview mirror. She was like, you look so pretty, Alexandria. And I was like, thank you, Ma. And then, <laughs> so I get to school, having a good day. It's the end of the day. When I say it's the end of the day, I think it was either fifth or sixth period. The teacher was like, um, who wants to go to the library? I was like, yeah, I wanna go. I said, yeah, I wanna go. She skips me. I believe she skipped me. And I was like, oh, it's okay, cool. And I'm looking at the time and the teacher told us after a certain time, nobody could go to the library. When I tell you this was the dumbest fight ever, and I've been in a lot of fights in my life because for some reason, there's a sign that everyone else can see that I can't see that says, try me. I don't know who put it there one day. Some stupid idiot demon devil imaginarily put that shit right there. And I was like, oh, okay, no big deal. So I look at the clock. This is the clock behind. And I look, and I was like, okay, um, but you better hurry up, girl. What? No, how I said, I'm trying, I'm gonna try to be 100%. I was like, okay, nah, but you see what time it is. And I'm gonna get my book, so you better hurry up. I was playing. Now, that's me trying to diffuse the situation because I know we are, we don't fucking like each other. And she said to me, I'll get back when I'm done. Just like that, okay? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> bitch, do you know I walk around on 10? Back then, I'll say back then, I used to wake up you know what I'm saying? I probably brush my teeth, wash my face, put my hair in a little ponytail, and look in the mirror and be like, and if you say something else, I'm gonna pop your ass. Cause I gotta practice. Because I'm so used to bitches coming at me, I practice. I, don't act like you ain't do that shit too. I know your ass used to practice your comeback. Don't come for me. I know you practice your comeback. Please be the motherfucking mirror like, and bitch, jump. <laughs> like, I had to make sure that I still look cute when I was testing. See how you gotta check it. So if this happened, you don't rehearse, so you already know to straighten that shit out. See what I'm saying? In my mind, I was like, who the fuck is she talking to? Who the fuck is she talking to? Who the fuck is she talking to? Who? Who is she talking to? She's not talking to me. I let it go. I'm getting a little bit mad now because I feel like I should have popped her before she went to the library. I'm not mad. She goes to the library, whatever. Takes forever. I was not able to go. Like, I was just like, why would you take so long? But it's just a library though, like why you gotta act like that? She was bold. She gonna come talking about some. I told you I was gonna get back when I was ready. Why you wanna say some shit like that to be girl to drop? Pop your ass. I did not hit her. Okay, I didn't fight her because I, I was like on a roll. I was in a National Dream Honor Society, guys. Like. The lowest my GPA was that year was a 3.5. So it wasn't just like I'm sitting here just popping off. I really tried. That was the third time I didn't hit this girl. I did not hit her. I didn't even like step back in her face. Like when she stepped, 
I didn't back up, but I just stood where I was. But I didn't like go, you know what I'm saying? I was really trying not to, 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 to get in no shit because I know my mom was going to be disappointed. I didn't want to be the bad girl. I didn't want my teacher to look at me like that. I gave a fuck about what people thought. Even though she was trying me in my face, I was cool. I was more comfortable with taking the, why you ain't hit her? Nobody can talk to me like that because that shit don't bother me. I was cool. Let me tell you what got this, let me tell you what got ass beat though. It wasn't that, it wasn't what she said or how she acted. It's what she did. That's me. She got in my face. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do shit, bitch. So much shit. I should've hit it in, but y'all, guess what? I ain't hit her. I ain't hit her. I didn't hit her because she didn't touch me. See what I'm saying? She ain't put hands on me. And words, that's cool. This what fucked me up. Had me like, what the fuck just happened, bitch? Like, my pride. I think I said to her, I didn't even say it to her. I was like this. Bro, I swear to God, though, if you touch me, though, that's all I do know. If you touch me, though, and this girl went like this. You ain't gon' do shit. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? I fucking went loco. Loco as a mofo, okay? I slowly, I was going Hulk. I started to see black. What she not gonna do? Rip my motherfucking in love. That's what she not gonna do. Cause I ain't got motherfucking time. And then I let this one stay in. Cause this was in that day too. I walked up to her. And she was sitting in her desk. And then she stood up. And she went like this. Just like that. And then. That was it. I had anger. And she was already working on my nerves. And I've been marrying this ass for fuck. Because she been trying me. So she been working on it. She been wanting to see. You know. What he hands do, couldn't take it. You wanna keep doing this, but then when I come around, you don't wanna post up. Couldn't shake it. At one point I had her up against the door. I just, just knocking the shit, and this is violent as fuck. And I'm not proud of this. I'm just like, you know right now, I'm not proud of this, but I'm gonna tell this is what happens when you try people, okay? I am delivered. Learn, learn, siéntate aquí, okay? That's what you need to do. Over there, here, I can, I can fuck up out my way, okay? At one point, everybody was screaming, get her off of her, get her off of her. <laughs> they were trying to save her. <laughs> That's what happened. We was walking to the principal's office, to the disciplinary office. That, ooh, ooh, I ain't heard that word in a long time. We was walking to the disciplinary office where you go when you're bad as hell, or in a, or when someone basically drags you into some shit you have no business in. Like me, I was just an innocent victim. She was mad. Because I was. That happens, we walking, and she talking shit. I don't give a fuck, no way. I don't give a fuck, because I beat your motherfucking ass. I don't care, everybody gonna say I won that fight anyway. Everybody gonna say I won. I don't give a fuck, you got your ass. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? Oh, Hot sway. I've been doing this more than you. And I jumped across the dude. He was like, chill out, little mama, chill out, little mama. And I was just like, girl, please. We get there, have her go in, then they have me go in, and then Mr. I didn't even get it, I didn't even give her a name. That's how petty I am, I didn't even name the girl. Mm. Y'all don't even know her name. And I'm sitting across from the guy who's disciplining me. So he's calling my mom, and um, I was like, fuck. But for some reason I really wasn't tripping because my mom knows me, she really does. Like if anybody knows me, child, my mom know me. And she knew that I didn't start it. And all those times that she had tried me, I was telling my mom and my mom was telling me to let the teacher know. And I let the teacher know. And they used to have these things where you had a contract where you couldn't be within a certain amount of feet of somebody. And I was like, I wanna get one of those so she can't be around because I feel like she'd be trying me. Not on some scary stuff, this was for her. I know you're gonna be like, oh, that's what everybody's saying. No, seriously. This was for her because when I snap, I snap. Because I keep a lot of stuff to myself and on the inside because I don't like to burden people with my troubles and my thoughts and shit like that. So I keep that shit to myself. So when I'm when I'm doing things to distance myself from you and you keep coming from me, don't be mad if you get what you got coming to you. So we're sitting there. Now at this time, like, she got fucked up. 
just straight up. Her shit was swole. She was bleeding. I think she even had fat or some shit like that. I can't remember everything because I, I really don't dwell on this. It's not like a high point in my life. For that moment, <laughs> it was a <out> point. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty and I beat your ass. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know the truth. Those were my stupid ass, vain, childish ass thoughts, okay? There's still some people who think like that. Still pretty, Kim Bella that for real life. Anyway, so, you know, I'm sitting there, he's he's calling my mom and he's um, talking to her and I was like, fuck, I can hear her voice and she sounded livid. Until he told her what happened. Cause the teacher even, the teacher even said that I was chill and that she started it and that she was this, but both of us apparently had to get suspended. And I was like, that's bullshit. I shouldn't have got suspended for that when she tried me. I was defending myself. Well, when she poked me, she had walked away, and then I came back up to her. So I, apparently, when I walked up to her, I started, but anyway, anyway uh, but that's why we got, both of us got suspended for 10 days. We got 10, we got suspended for 10 days over this shit, that she fucking started with me, and she been starting with me. And when he described this, I was like cracking up. I was cracking up. He was just like, yes, um, you know, your daughter seems to be fine. She doesn't have any scratches on her, or, anything she looks fine like she's not swollen up anywhere or anything she looks perfectly fine and he was just like but the girl is you know she's beat up pretty bad you know she's bleeding and stuff so you can't understand why we have to do this right and i heard my mom and she was like mm -hmm, i understand completely and called it something else i think it got I don't, I don't remember if it was like levels to how bad a fight was or whatever but i had a ring on okay so while i was punching her i know oh my makeup look bad as Fuck right here, back up. Like, I don't know what the hell I be doing. Terrible. Who? Oh. 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 To the shadows I go. <laughs> I'm back. I trail off, cause I'm too fucking goofy to stay focused and I'm gonna be giving a shit about stuff like this, for real, for real. I really don't give a fuck. So anyway, I'm just, I'm just telling y'all, cause I got, a, I got a, little, a, little, a little pebble of knowledge at the end. <laughs> and my mom, they gave, they gave me the phone, right? And I was calm because what I'm gonna be tight about, like what I'm, what I'm stressed about, like I'm good right now. We on, we've already called. I feel better. <laughs> like, I'm not mad. I got all my anger out <laughs> all that time. I just beat the shit out of you right now. Like, I feel fine. <laughs> I'm good now. I'm good. I'm not angry anymore with you. Yay. Mom was just like, Alexandra. This is how my mom talks to me. Alexandra, what happened? And I was like, mom, da, 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 da. I gave it a rundown. And she was just like, this the same little girl. And I was like, yeah, she said, okay, when you get home, you already know. And I was like, but Ma, I don't wanna hear it. You don't got suspended for 10 days. You gonna go to your grandma's house because I, I can't deal with this right now. Like, man, I got time. And I was like, I'm sorry, Ma. I didn't try to. And she was like, you've been doing so good in school. Like, why would you jeopardize this? You know you can't go to that little dance. And I was like, yes, ma'am. You know you can't go to the field trip. And I was like, what, I can't go to the field trip? Ma! And I was so mad about that shit. I was like, I can't go? For real? And I was like, I really can't go? I asked him, I said, I can't go for real? He was like, no, I was just like, Phew. And now I was like, oh, I should have, I just want to beat her ass again. I did, I want to beat her ass all over again. Wait for my mom to come pick me up because I couldn't go back to class after that, I got kicked out. Like from that point, they didn't let me go to sixth period, nothing, they didn't let me finish the day, they didn't let me, you know, ride the bus home. My mom had to come get me. So she comes to get me, and before she can get there, the people in the office are looking like, you the little girl who just got in a fight, all the wrong black ladies, because they was just wanting to teach y'all. They wanted to know what happened. So she was just like, what happened? What happened, baby? And I was just like, I was, I wanted to go to the library and she was being mean and then she got in my face and I was fine, I wasn't gonna hit her. But then she got in my bubble and she touched me and when she touched me, I hit her and I kept hitting her. And then she was just like, you beat her real bad. And I was just like, I didn't feel like I beat her that bad but her face was swollen and stuff. And the lady was just like, you had that ring on your finger? And I was like, yeah, and she was just like, baby, you know that that can get you in a lot of trouble because you should have took that off. And I was like, I didn't think about that because you know, I took my earrings and stuff off because I didn't want her to rip my earrings out, but I didn't think to take my ring off. I hope I don't get in trouble for that. And she was just like, I mean, you seem like a good child, so hopefully you don't get in trouble for that. But normally, that's not a good thing, baby. That's almost like having brass knuckles and having somebody beat you with brass knuckles. And I was like, what's brass knuckles? Because I didn't know. I was not a violent person. I wasn't trying to find brass knuckles at the magic mall and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? I, I, you know, girls back then were going to school with razors, with razors, 
in their in their purses and stuff. So if someone fought, then they just shh, shh, your face. Where I'm from, that's what they was doing. Okay. So I'm sitting there and she asked me to get in the car. My mom, mom was just like, Alexandra, what happened? I was like, I tried not to. She was like, I'm not even gonna beat your ass. This is exactly what she said. She said, you know, Alexandra, I'm not even gonna beat your ass because exactly what you told me is exactly what that man told me. And I already know you told me you had problems with the little girl. So if you had to be ass, you just had to beat the ass. And I was in the back seat like, And she was just like, and don't be laughing. And I was like, I'm mad. I'm not. And then my mama went, oh, she was so petty. She was so petty. She was just like, you beat ass. <laughs> and I was like, that's what everybody said. <laughs> and because my homegirls had actually, because at that time I ran with crew for it was me, then it was T1, T2, and K. <laughs> <laughs> And T1 and T2 ain't no specific. You can alphabetize that however you want to. One, one above the other, one like that. We was all besties. When we walked in the mall, we walked side by side. No one person walked in front of no one person. It was just like we walked together all by each other so I can see my bitch while she next to me. And that's how we was. So I think I had ran into T1 and K first. You know, I ran into T and then K came and then the other T came. So they come and I was just like, girl, what happened? And I was just like, I got into a fight. And I was like, girl, they said you be her ass. They calling you Layla Ali. <laughs> they was calling me Layla. <laughs> I came back to school with a whole new nickname. It was no more BBG, Big Booty Girl. It was no more that. It was Layla, Layla, what's up, Layla? And I was like, oh my God. Like, ugh. I didn't want to talk about that no more because I had got suspended for 10 days. And around the time that I got suspended, there was actually some kind of holiday or some kind of break coming up. So uh, like with the break, so it was basically, I was out of school for almost a month. So then we get back to school. This girl, no, 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 no. She was walking to the bus and I, somehow I saw her walking to the bus, but I cannot, Oh, they let me go back to that class to get my stuff before my mom came. That's what happened. That's how I ran into my friends. So I ran into my friends because I was going back to the classroom to get my stuff and my teacher, you know, she had gave me a lecture and she was like, I just, I just didn't know that you could get like that. Like you were so angry and you were just cursing and it was just so vulgar. I've never heard you say things like that. Like, I just thought you were different. Bitch, I'm human, okay? At that point, when she, my life was in danger. That this mate, uh, this dangerous. She, you ain't, you ain't see that part. Did, you missed this. You missed that. That's. This wasn't for nothing. I didn't just start. I didn't. Just, I just didn't stand up, sit down in class, and stand up and say, "Fuck this motherfucker." Go ahead, just do that, bitch. I didn't do that. She. I was egged. I was. I was. What's the word I'm looking for? Um. What is the word I'm looking for? I was um antagonized or pushed or p p p it's a p word pro pro pro. She had me fucked up. Whatever word it is, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know she she tried me, bro. When I came back to school, everybody was calling me Layla, and she still couldn't stand me. And yeah, and she was she was basically mad because she wanted my husband. Well, my boyfriend at the time, my now husband. She wanted him, and he wanted me. We actually ran into her after we had gotten married in Walmart. She was mad, but that's my story. Now the moral of this story is no matter what, especially these days right here, kids are not built with that type of thick skin. My mom, and some of y'all might not agree with this and don't come from my mom in these motherfucking comments. I'm gonna say that right now. Um, my mom would do stuff on purpose, like say some shit to me that you wouldn't expect your mom to say to toughen me up. Cause she could not have me out here being weak and stuff. Kids, kids' parents are not doing that today. People are way too sensitive. And that girl probably would have been killed today for much less, okay? So don't be out here putting your hands on people no matter what. Like y'all kids in middle school and high school and even people in college, and even on my end of holding all that stuff in, that, was, that wasn't that was right for me. For me to love myself and take care of myself, you should never, ever, ever harbor that much anger. Like if you're angry, you need to talk to somebody. 
that is a real thing. Black people need to stop acting like it's not. It's a real thing. You definitely need to talk to somebody. You definitely need help for that. Nobody should have that much anger in them to where they wake up preparing themselves for some shit to pop off. Something's wrong, okay? Um, and that's okay. Like, things being wrong are okay. That's how we get better. That's fine. If, if there's a problem, you fix it. If your cable don't work, you call Comcast, where the fuck you got cable with, and you be like, hey, um, Love and Hip Hop, come on in. <laughs> This the weekend with a picnic with the mamas, okay? So you need to fix that shit. You would let Comcast know, right? So you need to let yourself know. Like, have somebody you can talk to. And on the other, and on the girls' end, she didn't really know me. And with all that I was going, like all that was going on with me, I'm just glad that my mama did raise me a certain way because she had the right one. <laughs> Yeah, but thank God my mom raised me that way and that I had had a lot of patience and even though I was upset, I was still able to control some parts of myself. Like, I, I, I wasn't trying to kill her, I was just trying to basically let her know not to fuck with me. Somebody had to be the example and it was just her. It had nothing to do with me. I was trying to, I was, I was trying not to do it because I used to get beat up by 10 kids, okay? Like, my mom used to drop me off with these kids that I grew up with, all right? We was cousins, but not really. Um, I guess we was just cool with my mom and their mom was cool and then somehow our families are related but kind of not really. Some people got married in the end and then removed or something like that. And um, I used to hang out with these kids. When I tell you these kids was <laughs> no motherfucking jokes like was well, steal your shit and beat your ass. <laughs> like <laughs> these little motherfuckers <laughs> like <laughs> bitch. <laughs> No fucking games. Like, we'll steal your money, go to the store, buy shit with your money, eat that shit in your face <laughs> like that. So after having to deal with that for the majority of my youth, bitch, wasn't no one hole finna get me like that. That was it. Like that, mm-mm. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Only one other girl was able to beat me up. Her name, she, she a bird, but not a real bird. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the moral of the story, don't don't be out here fighting, y'all. Don't do that because people are not built like they used to. People aren't, you know, instilling in their kid in their in, you know in their kids that everybody does not think like you, everyone does not believe what you believe, and everyone doesn't have to, and it's okay to be different. People are not instilling that in their kids. So that was this story time. Um, if you want to hear a fight story when um <laughs> A girl was picking on my cousin because my cousin had shaved her eyebrows and we fought over that. It's the dumbest motherfucker fight ever. It was so stupid. If you want to hear about the fight though and how it happened and who won, because the ending is a shock on that bitch. Like, I was not ready. I wasn't ready yet. If you want to hear the story time about how I told my mom I was 17 and pregnant, let me know. If you want to hear a story about the story time about the time I told my mom I was pregnant, um, yeah. Y'all, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to this video.